I'm a graphic designer, which means that I spend my day playing with type and images. On the surface, that's a pretty exciting thing because I can take something that's very abstract and make it concrete and real. Now, design can lie and it can sell you things that you don't need, but it can also inform, inspire, and delight. At its very best, graphic design connects people. Using the most basic elements of design, my friend Matthew Hoffman has done something extraordinary. Over the course of a decade, he is using the most simple elements of design. He's spread a simple and positive message. This is graphic design at its best. When putting together a recent show, he asked me to contribute a letter A to his poster. <laughs> On the surface, this is a simple task, right? It's an A. But as the components of language, letters have meaning, and even the shape of letters carry meaning. Luckily, there's a very famous A in our literary culture, a scarlet one. You may have heard of it. This gave me a reference point and a story to talk about. So with this in mind, I made my version of the scarlet letter. To me, this is what form follows function means. In this case, there it is. In this case, form is more about communicating an idea than about readability. Plus, I found that nothing brings people together quite like a little TNA. <laughs> Later, I had reason to make a whole rack of letters, which I'll get to in a minute. But all you need to know is I'm a proud creator of a typeface with uh, cartoonish nipples. So when my friend Lyndon decided she was going to propose to her boyfriend Nick, she asked me, she asked her designer friends to draw the words from the phrase, Dear Heart, Will You Marry Me? Her plan was to propose with the Dibby Bike Station ad, because Nick there, he worked on the identity for Dibby Bikes. So on the day of the proposal, as they approached the bike stand, before Nick read the whole phrase, he looked at it and he said, are those Bud's booby letters? <laughs> and then he read the whole phrase, and by that time, she was down on one knee proposing. So in this way, I found my work partially through a typeface bringing two close friends together. And this is worth so much more than any award, of which I clearly have many. <laughs> it's not about size, it's about scale, and it's not about what you say, but how you say it. Well, it's also about what you say. So this past September, I got married to this beautiful woman. We, yeah. We've only been married for six months, but our relationship goes back seven years. Along with Emily, I've had the privilege of gaining a whole new family. This is Emily and her family and her mother, Joni. Joni has had breast cancer seven times since 1994. And each time, she's beaten it back into remission. Throughout all of this, she stayed positive and strong while raising three, three kids and working full-time as, as a nurse. Joni is truly an amazing woman. So when my, my, my wife asked me to design a t-shirt for her Avon breast, Avon breast Cancer Walk, I knew what I had to do. This is where my silly boob type <laughs> found its true voice. Yes, it's a little irreverent. But it's also bright, bubbly, and in your face. All important things when you're up against something as heavy as breast cancer. Their team, Breast Wishes, was full of young, strong women walking 39 miles to show their support in, for those impacted by this disease. So when the subject of something as heavy as breast cancer, and in this case, so personal, I find it helps if we can all giggle a little bit at vector nipples. Together, their group raised over $22,000 for breast cancer research. I know, it's crazy. Before meeting Emily and her mother, breast cancer was a distant issue to me. Um, but, you know, gaining a new family brings you, you take the good with the bad. And I know that about one in eight women in the United States will develop breast cancer. Thanks to research awareness and education and early detection, breast cancer is no longer a death sentence, but it's not a walk in the park either. I know that Emily is more likely than most to develop breast cancer, and it breaks my heart to know that she may have to endure the same pain that her mother has. But I'm comforted that in her is her mother's strength and positivity. We all have a role to play in life, um, making sense of the things that life throws at us. Some people respond by reminding others that they are beautiful. Others dedicate their lives to someone they love. Still others walk miles and miles to raise money and awareness. Me? I make letters into the shape of boobies and butts. <laughs> but if that brings me closer to the people who are doing these wonderful things, then I'm pretty okay with that. <laughs>